Hey subbies, I hope you all are doing well. So today I will be pulling back the curtains and debuting a new segment on the Sub Atreyu channel. It is titled Ask Atreyu. What happens in an Ask Atreyu video? Basically you submit to me a question related to locks and I will answer it for you in video form. I figured it's a very good and direct way to answer your questions and quite honestly sometimes I can write paragraphs in the comments section trying to answer a question and I still don't know if I've done a good enough job so it's also just easier for me to speak it out versus trying to type all that crap out I ain't trying to type all that out and I'm sure you're not trying to read all that either so <laughs> anyway let's get to it so today's question comes from Brittany Webb and this was in response to the why are my locks thinning hair growth cycle shedding thinning and hair that grows away from locks video I know that's a long title but I had a lot to talk about in that video I had a lot to cover and yeah a lot of important topics if you haven't seen that video do check it out Brittany says thank goodness for this video it makes perfect sense I recently decided to give my locks a break and I didn't twist for 12 weeks when I did finally retwist my roots were suddenly extremely thin I'm completely freaked out since you've been through this, will the part that isn't locked yet mature into thin locks or will it thicken up as it goes through the locking process? I'm clearly going to have to start twisting again every four to six weeks again and never go this long again. Did your locks easily recover or did it take a while? Advice. I need advice. Help. Alright, so yeah, great questions. I can definitely relate I've definitely been through this Brittany let's tackle these questions <laughs> one at a time alright so and I you know I responded to you already but hopefully if my response wasn't clear in the comment section this will clear things up even more you said since you've been through this will the part that isn't locked yet mature into thin locks or will it thicken up as it goes through the locking process so for those of you who don't know because you are maybe new to the channel this exact thing happened with me I abstained from retwisting for two months and then I followed that up without retwisting for three months and then I followed that up by not retwisting for another two months and then at the end when I did that final retwist after the two month period of not retwisting I noticed that my locks were as she put it suddenly extremely thin only a few of them right but I was freaking out mainly the ones around the perimeter of my scalp and so at this point I realized after doing some research you know I, I watched one of Yanni's videos and she spoke about how some people have locks whose new growth grows into the lock while other people have new growth that grows away from their locks or doesn't grow into the lock right it grows outside of the lock and just kind of chills you know on the scalp not committing to any particular lock commitment issues <laughs> And so I realized that when I was waiting so long in between retwists that because that new growth wasn't going into the lock, it wasn't committing to any lock, it was just chilling on my scalp that my locks were thinning out. And so that's when I decided to wrap the new growth around the lock, right? And I have a video, lock repair, it's a lock repair video. I think it's the highest viewed video on my channel, so it's easy to find. Um, and that helped, right? And as soon as I wrapped it, wrapped the new growth around my locks, with time it started to thicken up a bit. But because I had waited so long to reincorporate that new growth back into my lock, it didn't ever really fully get as thick as it would have had I continued retwisting once a month. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One, I had missed the window of opportunity. So let me give you an example. Say you haven't retwisted for three months and your hair grows away from your locks. Then your hair has essentially grown out over the period of three months. You don't do anything to reincorporate that new growth back into the lock. Well, because that hair isn't where it should be, which is into the lock, then that part that has grown out without the new growth is naturally thinner so what I tried to do was I tried to grab that new growth as soon as I figured out what was going on I tried to grab that new growth and wrap it around the lock and you know put the hair basically where it would have been all along now there are a couple of issues with this so this is the lock 
this is the new growth that's chilling at the base. Say this thinner part of the pen. This is the time period where I haven't really been retwisting. So I have all this new growth at the base of my lock. Now, I would try to grab the new growth here and wrap it around the lock, right? To kind of thicken it up. But you have to realize that because I'm wrapping it around and it's coiling, that it's not going to be as long as it would have been otherwise, meaning there'll probably be a little gap in between where it's thick and where it starts to thin out. Why? Well, if it had grown into the lock like it was meant to, it would be straight, right? It would be straighter. It would probably still be a little bit curly, but it would be straighter. And so most of its length is retained. But because I'm wrapping it around, I'm using up a lot of that length and I'm not really getting... I'm not really able to thicken it up all the way down to where it started to go thin, right? Because I've spent a lot of the length wrapping it around. But it did a decent job, okay? But I did still notice that there were thin spots. So that was when I decided to cut off my beard and use my beard here to fill in those thin spots. And obviously I had more than enough hair. <laughs> I mean, look at this beard. I had more than enough hair to fill in all the spots. And I'll do an update on my beard locks as I know it's been a while and many of you have no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, people, I did use a previous beard, the hair from a previous beard to reinforce these locks, which are doing great today. So getting back to your question, Brittany, you said, will the part that isn't locked yet mature into thin locks or will it thicken up as it goes through the locking? process. Well, I think it will kind of thicken up a bit as the that part of the lock collects hairs that shed naturally, but I don't think it will ever thicken up as much as it would have unless you try to reincorporate that new growth back into the lock. And you can reincorporate that as long as you haven't waited too long, then you can put that hair back into the lock. So that was what I used back in the day, the wrap around the lock method, and it works decently well. But today, to reinforce the locks, I use the braid technique where I braid the new growth into the lock because it just holds the hair in place along the lock much better. And so I would say that if you're able to successfully reincorporate that new growth back into the lock, then yes, it will thicken up as it matures, it will thicken up like the rest of the lock and like your other locks. But if you've missed that window of opportunity, I don't think it will ever really be able to be as thick as it was unless you, you know, get hair from somewhere else to fill in that space. That's just been my experience. Now you also said, I'm clearly going to have to start twisting again every four to six weeks and never go this long. So yeah, I thought the same thing. You know, after that happened to me, I started retwisting once a month. And as I said, I learned over that whole period that my hair grows away from my locks and I just want to clarify something just because you discover that your new growth grows away from your locks that does not mean that it does that on every lock or it naturally thins out every single lock on your head as I said my problematic locks are mainly these four to five in the perimeter area the majority of my locks the hair does grow away from my locks you know, I think I maybe have like maybe three or four locks that I can count where the hair pretty much stays into the lock. But those locks also don't thin out to the point where I'm worried that it's going to break off. You know, it just my parts. It's just the case that my parts disappear and stuff like that. So you may only have to worry about a few locks. And so, as I said, I went to retwisting once a month again and it started my locks started to thicken up like normal but I'd still have those gaps or those spaces in my locks that were thinner as a result of what had happened but then at some point it's a long story watch my my lock journey story or something like that to um, hear all the deets about it 
Um, but now basically the point is I retwist every two months with no problem. And for those problematic locks, I just break the new growth into the lock and it holds over that two month period that I'm not reincorporating that new growth back into the lock. So now I don't have an issue. You said, did your locks easily recover or did it take a while? Yeah, you know, after I did the necessary maintenance, they recovered and they're just, they're fine today, right? Um, so hopefully, Brittany, well, this has answered your question. Yeah, just don't freak out. It's gonna be okay. Knowledge is power and once you figure out what you need to do to get your locks back on track, they will recover. Your hair is pretty resilient, believe it or not. So hopefully this has answered your question. And for the rest of you, if you have any more questions that you would like to be answered, and an Ask a Trade video, please send them my way. As always, please learn to love unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all. Sub so Betrayu is out.